Here we are, another top five, because I know you guys love this stuff. Uh, top five fragrances that I haven't unboxed yet that are niche and that uh, are blind buys. So I have over 50 fragrances that I haven't unboxed yet for the YouTube channel. Anybody that's on YouTube, I know a lot of people on TikTok and Instagram may not know me, but I'm very regimented that I'm going to unbox one at a time. And I was gone for a bit, so I just kept them in their boxes. I'm, I'm a little off. Anyway, uh, so here they are, five fragrances that I've never smelt before that I blind bought, and I'm just waiting to unbox. They're not unboxed yet, but I want to know in the comments what you think about them. We'll start with number five. This one's probably the most polarizing. <gasps> oh, yeah. And um, I smelt this, and I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I did smell this like when I was in my 20s, like early 20s. It doesn't count. I was a huge designer guy, and I just wanted to do for giggles and just try to, to sniff this fragrance. So now, uh, a little more mature, looking forward to seeing what that's all about. Next is Edition Rare HGP Histoire de Parfum Petroleum. Now again, I know another soft lie. I smelt this back in 2011 when I went to New York to go see my uh, other fragrance friends back then. In 2011, I went to a boutique and I bought Abram. Best decision of my life, by the way, from Isol de Parfum. But Petroleum was always the one that I wanted. But Abram's smell just killed it. But I love the name Petroleum. And that's what intrigued me to it. So finally, I got it. And it was hard to find that one. Next, at number three, it is Uncle Selge. I have a huge Uncle Selge collection. And I'm adding to it. And this is uh, Satal Majuscule. Never smelt it. Sandalwood-based fragrance, I would presume. Um, I've heard a lot of good things from noses that I respect. So that's at number three. Number two, uh, Italie d'Orange. And this is Rien, Intense, Insens. And this one, I hear, you know, a lot of noses that know me told me to get this. So I blind bought it. It sounds good from the note breakdown. And last but not least, um, something that's a little more mainstream, something a little more that had hype on YouTube. And uh, I like to get these hype trains and just see, you know, debunk it and go, no, this is not as good. Well, at least in my personal opinion. Or say, hey, yeah, this is really good. This is my first of this brand, uh, Le Indemodable. And this one, of course, Veni Havan. Never smelt it. Might as well. So those are the five that I've never smelt, haven't unboxed yet, and wore blind buys. Any good ones in the bunch? You let me know. Especially Secretary's Comic Mifik.